application process. Whether you are a first-time buyer looking to acquire your dream house, an investor looking to acquire a rental property, or you are an existing homeowner looking to use your property as collateral to raise a long-term loan, the first step in accessing a Ghana Home Loans mortgage is to complete and submit an application form. Ghana Home Loans allows you several options to submit a mortgage application. 1. Online You may visit www.ghanahomeloans.com and submit an online application. If you cannot visit our office due to work commitments or because you live outside Accra, the online application form is the fastest way to get the application process in motion and obtain a response from us. However, please note that this is an abridged application form and you will still need to submit the standard application form in due course. 2. You can download and print the full application form from our website. After you have completed it, you can scan the form and email it back to us at info at ghanahomeloans.com. This method is often used by our non-resident applicants who cannot visit our office. 3. You can also visit our office to complete our application form and submit it to the Ghana Home Loans customer response team. A single application form can be submitted for one applicant or by two or more people presenting a joint application. Joint applicants need to indicate the nature of their relationship, for example, father and son, husband and wife, siblings, etc. Ghana Home Loans may choose to decline a joint application on the basis of the nature of the relationship. Your completed mortgage application should be submitted with the necessary supporting documentation. Supporting Documentation All applicants, single and joint, need to provide the following supporting documentation. 1. Two forms of proof of address. This is any set of documents which confirms where you currently live. You can either provide utility bills, tenancy agreements, or anything which confirms your current address. If you can't provide any of this, please contact your Ghana Home Loans Analyst to agree on an alternative form of proof acceptable to us. 2. Proof of Income This is any document acceptable to Ghana Home Loans which confirms how much you earn a month. If you are a salaried worker, you need to provide three most recent pay slips. The more detailed the pay slips, the better. If you have more than one job, or are a full-time employee with other sources of income, please provide details of the secondary income sources as well. We shall evaluate these income sources and if acceptable to us, increase the loan amount we offer you. If you are self-employed, you must provide the following. Audited financial statements for the three most recent years. Business bank account statements for the three most recent years. Certificate of incorporation. Certificate to commence business. Any other documentation, retainers, contracts, sales receipts, transaction reports, tax returns, etc. that provide evidence of how much you earn. If you are unable to provide any of these, please consult your Ghana Home Loans Analyst and agree what other proof of income is acceptable to us. It sometimes helps to have your personal business advisor or accountant prepare a business profile which captures all the key aspects of your business. 3. Two forms of proof of ID. You are required to confirm your identity. This could be by way of a driver's license, valid passport, a national ID card, or in some limited cases, a work ID. We need to see any credible form of ID that confirms you are who you say you are. If you cannot provide any of these, please ask your Ghana Home Loans Analyst for further direction. 4. Bank Statements Please present bank statements for three most recent months. We shall need to see bank statements from all your active bank accounts that you have stated on your application form. Recent Credit Report 
If you are a non-resident applicant, you should submit a recent credit report from Experian, Equifax, TransUnion or any other credit agency acceptable to Ghana Home Loans. We need this information to determine how much you currently owe other lenders in order for us to assess how much we can lend you. If you are not sure about the procedure for obtaining a credit report, please contact your Ghana Home Loans analyst for direction. With the introduction of local credit reference agencies, Ghana Home Loans shall also run a report on applicants based in Ghana in order to establish their existing obligations. Based on the results of these credit searches, we may have to request additional information or clarification from you. Offer Letter Please submit the offer letter from your vendor which states the property price and other terms and conditions of the offer. If you are applying for any of our homeowner's mortgage or construction mortgage products, you do not have to provide an offer letter. Kindly remember to provide evidence of any payments you have already made to your vendor towards the purchase of the property. This could be receipts, bank transfer instructions or transfer confirmation documents. As Ghana Home Loans reviews the supporting documentation that you have provided, we may need further clarification on the information presented. We may therefore request additional documentation such as details of existing financial commitments, further evidence of income, or even a marriage or death certificate. When submitting documents, you should present the originals and not photocopies at our office. We shall scan the originals and immediately return them to you on the spot. Unless otherwise requested to do so by our staff, you should not leave originals at our office. Once you receive your completed application with supporting documentation, we shall provide you with a letter of intent. This outlines our intention to provide a loan subject to you successfully meeting all other preconditions. The letter of intent is not an offer letter and does not commit us to lend to you. You are required to sign and return the letter of intent with any additional supporting documentation that is required. Your application shall then be submitted for credit approval. If successful, you shall receive a facility letter which is a firm commitment from Ghana Home Loans to provide you with the approved funds but again subject to preconditions. If you applied for a purchase mortgage, you are required to immediately send a copy of the facility letter to the estate developer or the person selling the property. This letter confirms to them that your loan has been approved by Ghana Home Loans and they can therefore commence construction of the property or even prepare to hand over the property to you if it has already been built. In addition, Ghana Home Loans shall instruct our team of external valuers, lawyers and surveyors to visit the property and also review the title documents relating to the property. These professionals shall advise Ghana Home Loans if the owner has good title, whether the selling price is fair and whether the property is suitable to be used as collateral for a mortgage. We shall rely on their professional expertise in deciding whether or not to proceed with the transaction. Once the property is ready to be handed over and you have met the disbursement preconditions, you shall be called in to sign the mortgage agreement and close the transaction.